Hello YouTube, Ronin Kazi, Elder Scrolls Online. One of my main characters. We'll get to that a little bit later. This is uh, a lot of times in gaming, my other name is Niragongo. A long time ago, I was trying to figure out unique names that no one else would guess when you're getting in the game. Try to stake those names out so you don't have to do like a Niragongo 37 or whatever, or Ronin Kazi. 800 hunting dragons with my main character this character is specked out right now to be like a healing spell damage dealer sometimes i have them as a tank i haven't played the game in a while so uh i am gonna just kind of keep with what i got so a lot of you, thanks for the feedback a lot of you said that you had tried eso but it sucked for you and let me tell you about when the ESO was launched. ESO was launched maybe in 2012 or 2014 or 2010. It was a disaster as a cat person. Most of these MMOs are disasters when they first come out. One, you have this uh, preconceived notion, and number two, it just, the game's not done. So one of the cool things about ESO, on top of it, if you're a vampire person, or a werewolf, which if I had to choose, I'd be a werewolf. You can be a vampire or werewolf. And so you notice on the right side of my skills, there's an R. That's like my ultimate super ability. So I'm going to run it as a werewolf for a while. So what will happen is your toolbar will change contextually to this new build. And now I'm a werewolf. A little bit faster speed. You slot it for different skills. And as you level up the skills, you kind of pick the path you want to go. I'm When I first made this werewolf, uh, I wanted to do sustain. So there used to be a timer on how long you could remain in this form. I don't know if that's still the case. I'm just going to assume it's still the case. And so that's why I'm going to devour all the uh, things I kill. My number four skill is an AOE frontal cone attack that causes a bleed that heals myself. So again, that's on par for what I like to do. You used to be able to kill like little animals to keep your thing up. I don't see a timer anywhere, so maybe under my health you see that thing going down. Or is that my... That might be the timer on my werewolf. And you spec so it stays longer and longer. That might be it. I don't know, but that's not important. The important thing is that I'm a werewolf. And there's all kinds of things. You can be part of the Dark Brotherhood. You can be. You can just do assassinations. Uh, there's all kinds of different things in here that you can do. Uh, it's the same thing in all the games. What I'm going to tell you is most games are very similar because... Imitation is the serious form of flattery because, you know, what works in one game, you're going to do a little bit different. The folks at ESO are going to put this gameplay in their, in their realm, in their lore. And guess what? That the people aren't thrilled with the PvP because, like always, you're super powerful in PvE, but when it comes to PvP, you know, it's hard to balance that. So I'm at home today, I have a vacation day because all the times I've worked overtime, I get comp time for that, so that's a good thing. I don't normally have this day off. So I'm looking for a dragon. And so I'm going to stay around here as a werewolf. And now I'm going to say I'm pretty certain that bar underneath my mana is my werewolf timer, so that's good to know. But I, you're so <laughs> panicked that you're going to fall out of werewolf form, that you, uh, you know, I'm not looking at the screen. I'm just constantly, who can I kill next? It's really fun. It's really easy to be, it's not easy to be a werewolf. You got to do a quest. Vampire's the same thing. It's kind of interesting how you do that. But getting back to the game sucked at a certain point, and I understand that people don't get back into it. 
The other thing is there's the dynamic of fantasy, right? So there's kind of like three things. There's I want to be in a military simulation or, you know, modern day things that are equivalent to what's going on now. Uh, I want to be in a alternative fantasy universe where dogs and cats and, you know, in this game you have alligator people, you, you, you know, you have the whole gamut and you have a whole separate lore. And then there's like future kind of things. You might have a cyberpunk or you might have a Star Wars kind of future vibe. So those are some of your choices for these types of games. Uh, other games out there, right, real-time strategy games that was something like back in the day oh a dragon so on one of the videos that i'd ever didn't get or maybe i showed you the video i died as a dragon maybe i didn't get that video out or died as a dragon died as a werewolf but i think i that's that aoe spell that's pretty damaging but with the werewolf i can kind of keep it up if i use my number one skill that will recharge my time I forget that, and I also don't realize why my skills aren't coming back. Over on the right is, I guess, my action pool, is what they would call it. So I should be doing a number one. And I'm sure people complain since I played, you know, I want my ability to stay up. I mean, I can't run around forever as a werewolf. If you go into town as a werewolf, the town will try to kill you. So it's... A lot of the Skyrim things, it's it's pretty good in that respect. Or if you're a necromancer and they catch you doing necromancer answer stuff, you get, you know, the guards try to kill you. And so when you're a werewolf or, you know, you're in this form, you can see that the dragon goes up on a perch there, and so it's hard for me to get at him. And you can see my skills decaying. So sometimes they spawn, and he does. He spawns some people down below here. So I'm going to try to find those people and eat one of the corpse. And if we can cross play, or if you're in this game, I'd love to group up with you and play in this game as well. I know it's not for everyone, but I'd like to dedicate some time to, to playing this. I enjoy this game. And I, I will have some better videos with more than just free world roaming, but that's a easy part of the game to get into, to get to like level 50. The other thing, it has a pretty neat system, kind of like the Division 2, in that you can, um, your alts all draw off a uh, pool. I think right there what's happening is I'm doing things on my other screen. Oh, and crap. So my Windows game recorder crapped up last night when I was trying to play Destiny 2 with two YouTubers. I could never get it working, so I installed OBS. I installed OBS and had a couple little problems. And I did two of these videos already that didn't record the recorded all black. So I fixed that. But the resolution is uh, 720p. So sorry about that. It's not you. It's me. So sorry about that. I got to fix that as well. I was like, man, these videos are small. This new computer really is <laughs> it's not doing anything. And I'm glad I haven't reviewed the computer yet because one thing is a lot of the transitioning from one computer to another isn't seamless for me. Number two, I added more memory and I might add another hard drive, like an NVE M2, one of those short ones, a 2280, I think it's called. Uh, but I did put 64 gigabytes of RAM in here. So let's more than I have on any PC that I have. I had 32 on my desktop. And the thing I found uh, with the division is the division two I always look at, you know, it. so it went over 16 gigs. I had 16 gigs before, but I'd be right near the ceiling of that. So, and I think the division two might have memory leaks. I'm not a programmer. I don't care. 
So now I'm going to my house. This is another thing. If you are interested in this kind of thing where you can have your own area and build it up. So I built this place called Moon Sugar Meadow. I don't really, I didn't really care to have like a house because I'm a cat person. So I got a big swath of property. And like any cat person, I want to have water. I just don't want to go in it, but I want to have lots of water around. So you can see this is kind of the area. You can animate some of the things. I have a crab that walks around and you can program all that. Um, I got these pieces and put them in the water so I can walk out to this area. If you fall in the water, like piranhas or something, because I'm right near the edge of that it will let you play. So you die if you go there. I died earlier. But that video didn't get recorded, thankfully. You can swim, which is great. You can ride horses. I don't think it's in this video. You ride mounts. You can have companions. That's who was following me around. It's a good game, but it wasn't in the beginning, so I understand if you don't want to play it, you don't have to play it. Just putting it out there. Now, you know I can't jump from my other videos and scene, so why did I make a jumping puzzle for me to get out to that rock? I don't know. This is normally when I say, please like, subscribe, share, comment. Appreciate all the comments. I've been doing a quick little lunch series where I'm actually just videoing the real world and talking to you. I'm going to try that, do that under a minute just to uh, share more things. We started talking about fast food. A lot of people commented, not a lot of people, three people commented a lot about fast food and what to eat for lunch. So I was inspired by that and I like to have more of that. Not saying that you have to comment like that, but some of those real world things you don't really get to talk about in gaming videos, but there's still things that you think about. So that's me. This is Ronan Kazi. Appreciate you stopping by. This is my crib. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.